Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we are going to add a scorecard and we'll fetch that data from our Google spreadsheet. So first of all let's add a separated component that will manage our state and in this case I'm using the use reducer react hook function that will return a state and a dispatch and we have to pass it a function reducer and an initial state. So in this case the reducer will manage two actions loading and set store and inside those cases I'm just changing my state and my initial state will be an, a user, an empty object and a boolean value is loading. So after we have our state and our dispatch we'll just return those values and whenever we invoke our user store it's going to behave as a custom hook. Let's add it into our app. If we log our state we'll see our store inside our application. Now let's add a use effect that will run after our component is mounted and in Google Apps Script we'll use the google.script.run method follow up with the function that we want to trigger in the backend. Let's add some utils functions to help us manage our database. You can copy your own spreadsheet ID and when you replace it you can run some tests to see if everything is working fine. The get user info function gets my email and find that email inside our spreadsheet with the email column. So if you're working on an internal tool you can use that to work on different profiles. And we are using a helper to convert that array into an object. So now that we know what the backend will return we can use the with success handler in order to trigger a function in the front end. So let's define a set data function and we are just going to log the response. If we refresh the page we'll see the same object but now inside our web application. So now that we are running a function after another function has finished we can use our dispatch to start changing our state. In this case I'm going to dispatch a loading type of action and if we log our state we'll see what's changed. Now our boolean value went from false to true but we can dispatch the same action again after the backend has finished and if we refresh our application again we'll see its loading went from false now true and then came back to false again. Now we can dispatch another action to set our user information, the type will be set store and the payload will be the data that came from the backend. If we refresh the page we'll see the user was an empty object and now it has our information. And our object has two arrays. So before we dispatch the set store action we are going to use the JSON parse method to convert them. Now let's add the scorecard inside our app. Let's uh, create the component and then we are going to include that into our index HTML file. And we are going to pass the state as a prop so we can use it inside the scorecard. Now scorecard can access to the state. We will extract the user key and we can now access to the user properties. And we will just render the username.
Now let's add our HTML structure and the scorecard will be completed. So now that our scorecard is using the state information, we can pass that state to our site nav and use the image from our user information. And if we change the image from our spreadsheet, it will be updated. Now, as you might notice, when the app is waiting for the information, we are seeing an empty scorecard. So I'm going to add a preloader and unfortunately, Materialize doesn't have a skeleton loader, but if we change the opacity and we add more custom CSS, we will be able to create our own skeleton loader. Now we are going to use the is loading key to change from the skeleton to the scorecard. Now if we refresh the page, we'll see the skeleton and then the scorecard. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.